Hi Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Um, I hope you guys all had a fantastic weekend. Hi to everybody there in the chat. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to take a look, Virgo, at your singles reading for the month of December. So this reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So keep in mind, some of the messages may or may not resonate. It will be predictive, so it may not resonate until it actually happens. All right, so I am here uh, Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Every Sunday I do the singles reading, and every Thursday is your weekend reading. So do subscribe if you enjoy my channel, and please put a like on the video if you enjoy this reading as well. All right, Virgo. Also, personal reading links are below this video. Okay, so you had four cards popped out here. So let's get started, Virgo. Okay, so you have free yourself, time to take back control of your life, let go of control issues, allow situations to unfold naturally in your life. There's also attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And there's also going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone, honestly discussing your feelings with each other. So this looks pretty good, Virgo, to start for the month of December. So let's get into the singles reading. Singles is basically you're not attached, okay? Even if you have somebody on your mind, if you, you just don't have a plus one, okay? Um, you're not married, um, anything like that. There's like absolutely nobody. All right, so let's get into this. Position one, how do you know or how will you know if you're ready for a new relationship, Virgo? How will you know? What will be the sign for Virgo that they are ready to embark or get into a new relationship? Oh, you guys, this is crazy. Listen, I was shuffling, setting up my whole setup here, and I was shuffling, trying to get the energies of the cards, and this Knight of Swords popped out twice, okay? And I kept putting it back in the deck, and here it is again. And you saw me shuffling. Listen to me. You are ready, Virgo. The Knight of Swords is like, let's go. You are... <laughs> Uh, this is very assertive. I don't feel like um, there's anything going to be holding you back at all. I feel like um, you're ready for a lifestyle change. I feel like you're going to be good at communicating with whomever you're talking to or will be talking to. I feel like you're freeing yourself or you will be freeing yourself, letting go of holding on to something that you felt like maybe you were trying to control or vice versa. But I feel like you're ready to give some truth. You're ready to talk, okay? Uh, so how will you know? I, I just, they just said you'll be very talkative. You'll be very talkative when you meet somebody or when you talk to somebody, okay? Um, there won't be an energy of like, I don't know what this means, but I'm getting the sense of like, you won't be fearful of cruelty from people or people who do you wrong, you know? Um, I feel like you won't have a sense that every person you meet is going to be horrible, okay? Um, it just feels like a very optimistic energy with you that you are like also, I see you in December um, being very assertive, so confident, not having any, I guess what I wanna say is like very communicative and talkative. Um, and asking people out if you're one of those people who pursues relationships, right? You will be doing all the pursuing as well. Um, or you will allow someone to pursue a relationship with you. So I don't know. I, I, I feel like it's pretty straightforward here for you, Virgo. You're raring to go. Like, let's go. Very talkative, able and uh, open and able and ready to communicate with other people. Um, I don't see you being kind of like hidden, like in hermit mode in December, okay? Um, now that might not resonate for all of you. I know some of you might be, that's fine. But I feel like for the majority or someone here listening, yeah, you'll know because you'll just feel this energy, this mental, it feels like mental energy, raring to go. Your thought process is like, I just feel like fearless mentally fearless so this is very good this is very good all right so let's take a look what the characteristics will be of your potential lover what will this person be like for virgo okay hmm. all right 
I like the two of pentacles. Um, this person's really good at multitasking. Okay. They're very, um, I feel like kind of like they're calm. They're able to like weigh their options. They think about things. They're very, they use their discernment. Um, and they're very good with their money, balancing their checks. I don't, people don't balance their checking account, their savings account. They know where their money goes. They're not an overspender. Um, I wouldn't say like super, super thrifty, but I feel like this person is, their characteristics, very well balanced, able to make very good decisions, takes their time making decisions, not reactive, not jumping off the handle. This feels like another earth sign for some of you. Could be a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. Let's see what else. Oh, wow. Page of Cups. Very sweet. This person um, takes accountability, so they have no problem apologizing for something that they've done wrong. And they also have no problem um, saying, okay, well, if they make a mistake, they, they'll say, well, how can we fix this? Okay, I like that energy. They may also have a child. Okay. Um, they may also want a child. All right. Um, but I feel like with this Page of Cups energy, this person's characteristic, um, they're someone who likes they like they like to help they might do volunteer work um they're studious so i feel like this person likes to study they like to read they're involved in a lot of things um yeah i feel like though character wise they're just very kind very sweet um they like to give little gifts not big gifts little gifts little things they're all about the little things, okay? Um, and just, they, they love, they get excited when it comes to like new adventures or, or lovely things, you know what I mean? Things that are like, like a new beginning. Like this person gets super excited, like a child. They kind of have like a child wonderment about them. Does that mean they're immature? No, <laughs> I mean, they might be on the emotional side, um, a little more, how do I want to say it? Like, it feels like cutesy. They're giving me the word cutesy. Yeah, like they're just sweet and cute, <laughs> cutesy. Okay, could be um, a water sign as well for others. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, and I was just saying they might have a daughter or they have a, ch or a son that has long hair. All right, let me see what else. Or they have long hair. Okay. Okay. All right. Eight of Swords. Wow. Okay. So we're asking for the good and the bad. So they might have a little bit of inse insecurity at times. Um, they also might be in a position in their life where um, they might be isolated from... I don't know, it could be family members or particular people, or they're just someone who might be kind of a loner. They're a bit withdrawn. They might be very heady. Could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They might be very heady. Do you know? Like, so they, they kind of are like, they don't mind being alone. They don't mind working alone. Um, they might not be an overtly social kind of a person. Okay. Um, they also might live in an area where there's a lot of restrictions at this time i don't know exactly what that means it might not be restrictions it might be limits there might be limits or they live on the outer or like the the outer limits of an area is what i'm hearing as well um also um it's they may live near a cemetery i just heard that and i also heard that um Either they live near a cemetery or a place where there's like known for cemeteries, graveyards, but also um, somewhere. Okay, they're giving me two messages. They also live in a country where there's a lot of castles. And I'm also hearing they live near either a factory or um, a reactor site. Okay, just telling me that factory or a reactor reactor site reactor like nuclear reactor site okay 
Interesting. So, I mean, as far as they're good, you know, I do feel like with the Page of Cups, this person, you know, is very sweet and they're very apologetic and they're very kind and sincere and innocent. They have a very innocent thing about them, but they also um, might have a little bit of insecurity um, with them or they might be a bit shy or kind of reserved, that kind of thing. So I don't feel like this is someone who is um they might be more of an introvert they have a little bit more of an and they just keep to themselves a bit more okay interesting 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 um all right let's see how are you going to meet this person virgo how will you meet this person some of you might have already met this person you've already sat and had that heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person like opened up and revealed feelings or um thoughts to each other Let's see. Oh, wow. Two of Cups. Well, that's a perfect card for meeting somebody. So definitely over dinner, definitely over drinks. Um, could be at a party or some type of an engagement. Um, or it could be in a restaurant for some of you. There's definitely a place where you'll connect with this person for some of you over uh, near water. I'm just hearing near where there's water. Could be like an outdoor kind of an engagement or a party or event, wedding, um, happy hour. You know, something where there's two people who are having drinks. It could even be coffee, an outdoor restaurant or something along those lines. You know, where it's if you're in the cold air, um, there's heaters. And, you know, if you're in the warm air, you know, it's definitely outside. But I do feel like there's, you know, a formal meeting or a first meeting or a second meeting with this person where it's kind of over drinks right or something beverages i should say because i know a lot of you don't drink drink but beverages and some do all right i like it i like it okay what would be the characteristics or dynamics of this potential relationship okay all right so <laughs> well i do okay two messages are telling me number one this person will be fantasizing about you <laughs> okay you will be like I just heard a very old song. Oh my gosh, I have like a, an 80s spirit with me or something. Aldo Nova, it's called She's Just a Fantasy or Fantasy. It's Just a Fantasy. Listen, if you know that song, I, I'm giving you big virtual hugs and kisses. <laughs> this is like, what, 1982, 83 maybe? It's very old. If you haven't heard that song before, feel free to look it up. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. It's very 80s. Okay, so um, yeah, I get a sense with this person. Um, that's definitely like, it's not just them with you, but it's you with them. Okay, that Seven of Cups is like dreamland. It's like la la land. It's like intangible it's like I can't believe we've met I, where have you been all my life what you know what I mean like that kind of thing very strong attraction here um, with this person also it won't be rushed I don't feel like either one of you are gonna rush into something here um, <clears throat> I do feel like there's gonna be this puppy love feeling it's just you're gonna feel like a kid there's gonna be this excitement about each other um, so many options, so many things to do. It's There's going to be a wide range of things to explore between the two of you. You're both going to find that you like to travel or that you like to do things. There's going to be a lot of options and opportunities for both of you. No serious commitment just yet. I feel like it's going to be more of, um, you know, getting to know each other, honestly discussing things with each other and really exploring Okay, so this reading is heavy on water right now, um, semi-heavy on air, and a little bit of um, earth here, but let's keep going to see what other messages there are. Okay, so the wheel of the year, wow. Yeah, in relation to the Seven of Cups, it feels like, um, wow, you're my destiny. Wow, we're soulmates. Absolutely, the Wheel of Fortune soulmates destiny fate karma change things moving right along in both of your favors you're meeting a soulmate you're meeting a soulmate 
which is fantastic because you don't want to meet a twin flame <laughs> unless they've evolved into soulmate energy. Um, things are going to start moving in the new year for sure. In the new year, the wheel in the sky keeps on turning. <laughs> okay, what should we name my, um, my 80s spirit guide here? The wheel in the sky keeps on turning. This is awesome. Things are changing. Things are shifting. You're going to both feel like, wow, they've, you know, both of you are like, wow, I, how lucky I hear that phrase. I can't believe how lucky I, I got to meet you or how lucky I am to be connecting with you right now. This is amazing. Um, if you've already met this person, they may have told you that already. Um, or they may be telling you that in the month of December. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. I also, oh, they're saying also that as far as this person, like budgeting money, they're not miserly. They have the money to budget. In other words, they're not poor. Um, they're not stealing from Peter to pay Paul. That energy is not here. This person has financial gains. Um, they have money in the bank. Um, they have a bit of wealth, so they're able to budget their money. They're able to put money here and put money there and put some in savings and things like that. You know what I mean? People who don't have money really can't budget. They're stuck. They're just kind of like they have nothing really to work with. I feel like this person, whether it's in their career, their finances, there's really not much in the way of challenge, but they're smart with their finances and their money. Okay. Let me see here. I want one more for this character okay so now we have the first court card queen of swords so gemini libra aquarius okay so i feel as an energy the characteristics or dynamics of this potential relationship is there's going to be truthful communication above board nothing hidden Okay, there might be some wittiness, witty, um, playful banter back and forth between the two of you. This Queen of Swords, um, there's, uh, it's like both of you, both very self-sufficient type people. Um, this is the energy that I'm picking up for the relationship. Like it's, it's, it will be a, both of you doing your part as far as, you know, it's funny, uh, don't get me wrong, there's a tremendous amount of romance here as well with the Two of Cups and the Page of Cups. I mean, it's not just going to be all business. It will be a working partnership, but there's going to, I feel like a lot of connecting with each other with this um, Two of Cups. There'll be a lot of like going out, romantic dinners, romantic like dates, um, fun, enjoyable time maybe with friends trying to figure out where to go what to do a lot of that energy as well but that queen of swords <clears throat> excuse me as an energy that feels real strong for me like there's a lot of warmth okay um truthfulness much kindness um also i'm picking up definitely single this person and you being definitely single okay or divorced you or them or both of you. Um, I don't pick up someone who's in separation from another person, whereas they're just not together at this time, but there's a chance they will be later. I don't get that at all. This person is, the queen of swords is always, she's either, he or she is either completely divorced, has cut it off, or the relationship they were in before is over, it's done, the ex is gone, um, or there never was anybody else okay no at least uh, they might have just been like I said they were I feel like a little bit of an introvert so maybe kind of like a hermit in a lot of ways just very picky and very selective so I do feel like once they meet you Virgo as per usual they're gonna be like oh my god where did you come from where have you been all my life? You are the best thing that's ever happened to me. I can't believe how lucky I am that I've met you. Yeah, definitely. A lot of truth telling in this relationship. Okay. So let's see. What is the potential outcome of this connection? What will be the potential outcome? Um, I'm also picking up <clears throat> Leo. Okay. Okay. Let's see, potential outcome for this relationship with Virgo and this person. 
Oh, wow. Victory. There you go. Ace of Swords. Victory. That's it. Absolutely. This is going to be your person. Um, this is going to be the one for you. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, here's the King of Swords. Wow. This is crazy. So as an energy, okay, it could be, you know, sometimes also Virgo, the Queen of Swords or the King of Swords can represent Virgo. It could be two Virgos um, as well. The situation can also be um, you connecting with an air sign. But overall, as an energy, okay, this person, um, the potential outcome is sits in the position of very intentional, strategic. So I feel like both of you coming together will be planning this relationship to go somewhere do you know what i mean like to reach victory and what is the victory i'm the whole purpose of dating each other will be to get into uh, a long term like being with the person that fits you having that other half someone who's looking out for you um someone who supports you someone who loves you and vice versa taking care of each other right it's not just about friendship which i do see friendship happening but it's also about um like two people who love living their lives and then can't wait to live their lives together and can't wait to see each other and to laugh and to tell funny jokes with that witty banter between the two of you back and forth. Can't wait to talk to each other. You know, I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. It's really like a, like a really beautiful singles reading and there's a king of pentacles. So there you go. Okay. <laughs> could be some of you, it could be, um, Gosh, I don't even know. I'm so confused with all the gender stuff. Please forgive me. Um, I'm just going to say two masculines. It could be two feminines. I'm going to leave it there. Um, I think that's how we're saying it here in the spiritual community. Um, it could also be masculine and feminine. Okay. Um, very stable as well as an energy. The potential outcome, very stable, solid, um, investing both of you investing in this relationship very positive i just love this virgo i hope that you meet this person and if you've already met them i do hope that this energy is going to play out like very very beautifully for you because i think that that would be fantastic um, i think this is something that you have been working towards in your life let's get some chinese signs to see what the messages are if we can find like what their Chinese sign might be. Could be yours, it could be theirs. Okay, so Year of the Pig, Year of the Dragon, Year of the Tiger, Year of the Dog, Year of the Rooster, Tiger again, Year of the Rat, Year of the Ox, and year of the rabbit and I don't think I said a rabbit so they could be one of those signs it could be you it could be both of you as well um all right let me just see I want to get a couple of island time cards as well okay first thing that just popped out here you're getting a love call Virgo I feel like you're you're meeting your person if you haven't already met, meet, met them there's a message of love somebody calling to tell you that uh, they're thinking of you or they just want to let you know if you've already met them or to call up and ask you out on a date um tell you that they're very interested in you that kind of thing i love that i love it so this is through december also the dragonfly be light-hearted virgo you're going to find some things out things are going to come to light adapt change and heal so i feel like for a lot of you there might be, I don't know, they're just telling me secret admirer. Um, for some of you, this person may have had their eye on you and is finally asking you out. And for others, um, <clears throat> I guess it's just for you, I think they're saying just, you know, relax. 
have a good time. Enjoy yourself. If you're one of those Virgos who gets easily stressed out or you overanalyze and you overthink things, if you're going to overthink and overanalyze, just make sure it's positive th thoughts, positive thinking, right? I mean, you can't stop yourself. You can't stop those thoughts from coming in, but you are in control of what you do with them. So do your best to just Go out and have fun. Enjoy the moments here. That's what the attraction card is all about. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. And the message really is for you to just enjoy December. Okay, you get asked down on a date. You may not be interested in somebody, but go and explore it anyway. Because you never know what could happen. You never know. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, you can meet someone and just be like, nah. But then when you make a decision that you're going to like connect with them in some way, all of a sudden there's a sparkle in somebody's eye that you never noticed before or vice versa. And it's like, wow, wait a minute. What's going on here? Cupid's arrows hits out of the blue. Okay. So let me see. Is there anything else that Virgo needs to know during this December singles reading? Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, they wanted me to get some messages of love. Let's see what the messages of love are. And then I'm going to give you some confirmations to see, um, uh, to, it's, for you to find out if this is like specifically for you. Okay, messages of confirmation. Chemistry. Yep, the attraction you will feel with this person will be mutual. So this is beautiful. Okay, and I want to give you, like I said, your confirmation. Which month birthdays? Okay, September 6th, September 3rd, September 10th, September 7th, September 9th, September 20th, or August 23rd. Uh, let me see. Did I say September 12th? Um, also, we have Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, and Sagittarius. Okay, show us other, show Virgo, other birthdays. Okay, September 20th, um, September 14th, can't remember which birth dates I said so I think I said September 9th but I'm not sure okay and other signs okay Taurus Capricorn <gasps> triple Taurus here Taurus 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 oh my goodness this person might definitely be a Taurus that king of uh, Pentacles is that's a Taurus card so some of you might be connecting with a Taurus all right let me see Sagittarius, Leo, there's a Leo, Taurus, and Pisces. One more. Scorpio, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Virgo. Okay. I love your reading. Oh my gosh, it was so great. I think this was the best singles. Um, I'm going to do real quick, if you are connecting with another particular sign, and we're going to just blow through these real fast and see what the messages are there for you. Okay. So Virgo, if you are connecting with an Aries, all right, things are looking good. There's a new beginning happening with an Aries here. Um, creative new ideas, um, very physically passionate type of a connection here. All right, if you're connecting with a Taurus, there's going to be marriage, long-term relationship with a Taurus, happiness, happily ever after, happy family, emotional uh, fulfillment. Okay, if you are connecting with a Gemini. Oh, wow, that's a Gemini card, the Magician. Something magical happening with a Gemini here. Super, super magical. Laying all cards on the table, manifesting amazing things between the two of you. All right, if you're connecting with a Cancer. Wow, the wheel, oh, this is your, this is your, phew. This person is your, um, your lucky egg, this Cancer. This is like destiny. This is your soulmate, this Cancer. Okay, fantastic energy. And that was in the reading as well. So this could be for you. Um, 
Jackpot. <laughs> All right, Virgo, if you're connecting with a Leo. All right, so Three of Swords. There might be some arguments happening. Could be a separation from a Le with a Leo uh, for some. I don't know if it's a third party. It, it could be gossip or other people getting involved. doesn't have to be cheating. The thir Three of Swords doesn't always represent that. It could if you know about it. Um, but the Three of Swords is basically like uh, maybe a little bit of depression. Or there could be somebody having some surgery. Okay, um, if you're connecting with another Virgo, hmm, well, a very intuitive kind of relationship here. This is like you both get each other. This is like one person finishes uh, finishes the other person's thoughts or words, okay? That high priestess, very intuitive, psychic, um, a lot of deep secrets between the two of you, trusting yourselves and trusting each other. So that's very nice with this Virgo. All right, if you're connecting with a Libra, okay. A lot of deep feelings, a very nurturing relationship, healing. I see a lot of healing with a Libra. I um, also see uh, a lot of support, okay. Um, hmm. Somebody's also a nurse or works in um, the medical field, okay. That's for Libra. So if you're connecting with a Scorpio, okay, lots of deceit uh, with a Scorpio could also be um, a running away kind of energy, an in and out kind of energy with a Scorpio. Uh, I just want to say maybe some dishonesty or some, I don't know. Watch, keep an eye on your coins at this time. Might be some theft, okay? Uh, yeah, that, Scorp that Scorpio energy is kind of tricky. Pretty tricky. Okay, if you're connecting with a Sagittarius. Wow, and there's the Sagittarius card, Temperance. So, well-balanced. Very beautiful with the Sagittarius card. Um, with the Sagittarius. This is an energy of, like, things being in harmony. Um, patience moderation, good balance, um, definitely an electric kind of connection with this person. Yeah, I like it. It looks good. It's very two of cupsy as well. It's also, um, they're also telling me to tell you if you're connecting with a Sagittarius, be prayerful, everything in divine timing, things will go or, um, things will be revealed in, in divine timing. Okay. You're connecting with a Capricorn. Wow, this is the world again. Okay, a lot of travel, new chapter, new beginning, new changes happening with a Capricorn coming up in the new year, okay, with the world. Um, also, a lot of communication online. Could be somebody immigrating or emigrating. Um, and also, for some, have completed or learned the lesson with a Capricorn. Okay, if you are connecting with an Aquarius, okay, um, well, a whole lot of push and pull with an Aquarius. Um, a lot of truth is going to come out, but a very assertive kind of energy with an Aquarius. This Knight of Swords, it's like um, uh, there's a lot of communication that's going to be coming in really fast with an Aquarius and something to do with a lifestyle change making a lifestyle change. Okay. If you're connecting with a Pisces. Oh, wow. Okay. Reunion happening happily ever after family, uh, get together, community type of thing, marriage commitment with a Pisces. I feel here, um, going forward. There's also, um, somebody's coming home. Um, or there's some kind of like celebration or family or marriage kind of situation that may happen. This is, um, this is your, um, Pisces is opposite to Virgo. Um, and this is 1111. So it might be a twin flame kind of thing. Okay. All right. So I think that's it for tonight. You guys, I hope that that was, um, actually, no, nope, no, they're saying get some moon, moon Oracle cards, moonology cards. Hold on. When do we have, oh, I haven't flipped my calendar yet. Hold on, you guys. I just want to see real quick. I forgot to flip my calendar. Um, 
the next full moon is this Thursday, December 8th. Okay. Let's see what we have to say for the full moon. And I am going to do, um, tomorrow I will do your full moon reading. Okay. So tune in tomorrow, which will be Monday for the full moon reading for December 8th. All right. Let me see. What is your moonology message here? Be bold and make the first move, Virgo. Okay, this might be you in the singles reading, um, making the first move with somebody here, right? Um, you're being asked to be bold, so you're being asked to, like I said, you can always reverse the reading, but it looks like you might be, you could be the one who's been thinking about reaching out to somebody and asking somebody out as a single person, right? So for some of you, it's a cardinal moon and you're being asked to like, just do it. Just reach out and just do it. Ask this person out because it looks like it's going to turn out beautifully. You also have new moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. Beautiful. I love this reading. It's so lovely. And luck is on your side. Wow. Everything is going to work out in December, I'm telling you. For you singles, connecting with other people, reaching out to other people, it looks great. I feel like you're going to make a connection with someone. And I feel like if you haven't already met this person, um, if you have, it looks like things are just going to turn out beautifully. And if you haven't, when you meet them or when you reach out or ask somebody out or just intimate, and or say something and try to get something off the ground. I feel like it's going to go very well. So Virgo, I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope you enjoy that. It's so awesome. So great. I'm so happy for you. All right. And just remember, it's going to go all through into right in the beginning of January, maybe the 4th, January 4th. All right, you guys. So I'll leave you to it. Have a fantastic uh, evening. And again, if you want to get a personal reading link in the description box below, I'm going to be running a Christmas special soon. So keep your eyes out. There'll be a discount. And also, um, yeah, make sure you click the like button on the way out. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. We're almost at the 30,000 mark as far as subscribers. And we really want to like kick ass next year and really get up as high as we can. So please do share and please do like, and uh, please do subscribe. All right, you guys, I will see you, a lot of you in the group me chat, and I will see all of you, the rest of you here tomorrow. All right, bye.